Using hot air gun is one of the basic skills to become a professional PCB repair master. Today, we will share how to choose different hot air guns and what problem will happen if they are operated improperly. There are various of brands in the market. We will demonstrate with two hot air guns which are very recognized by repair master. Generally speaking, equipped with one vertical and one helical hot air gun can satisfy demands of PCB repair basically. Feature of vertical hot air gun are fair power focused, strong penetrating, suitable for components which require quick heating, quick desoldering like IC chips. Feature of helical hot air gun are soft fair power, even heating area, not easy to blow out IC chips. Suitable for blow soldering components with larger size, shield cover, and FPC connectors. This is a vertical hot air gun. The biggest feature is that the airflow is generated by host and delivered to nozzle through pipe. The pipe is larger diameter to form a strong airflow. It is equipped with five nozzles. Two of them are most commonly used. Middle size nozzle can satisfy the soldering requirements of most IC chips. Small size nozzle is mostly used to solder smaller IC chips. It can prevent overheating or melting solder paste of surrounding IC chips during blow soldering. This is a helical hot air gun. Different from vertical hot air gun, the airflow is generated by a helical fan inside the handle, then delivered to nozzle, so it has a much thinner pipe. Now let's introduce how to use this vertical hot air gun. The upper part is parameter display area, and the lower part is button function area. Let's power on and operate it. This is temperature increase decrease button. Press the up button to increase and press down button to decrease temperature. This is the airflow increase decrease button. Press the up button to increase and press down button to decrease the airflow. CH124 are storage channels. Adjusting temperature and the airflow, long press CH button. After a long click, current temperature and the airflow have been saved in this channel. Now let's compare the heating difference of four channels. Set four channels in advance. Heat tissue with the same nozzle head and the same heating time. Then we can choose proper heating channel by comparing color of tissue. When heating job done, put a hot air gun on the handle holder. Power on helical hot air gun. Here are temperature button. Press the up to increase and down to decrease the temperature. Here are airflow button. Press the up to increase and down to decrease the airflow. Using same method, we can adjust the temperature and the airflow until we find the proper combo we need. Again, when heating job done, put a hot air gun on the handle holder. What will happen if the heat is too high in blow soldering with a vertical hot air gun? We use an iPhone 6 as a motherboard for the test. Blow soldering main power IC with an ultra high temperature. The high temperature has affected main CPU on the back side. Inspect the board with a microscope. We found there are melted solder paste appearing on the components around the main CPU. In this case, the internal solder joints of the main CPU probably have melted and then short circuit might happen. What will happen when the heat is too low in blow soldering with vertical hot air gun? This time we test with the iPhone 6 motherboard. Blow soldering LED flash control module with low temperature. Because the temperature is too low, we can see the solder joints didn't melt. 
which will cause solder joints damage when remove the module. What will happen if we hit FPC connector at different temperatures with vertical hot air gun? First, let's hit FPC connector with 300 Celsius degree airflow setting and hit the same type of FPC connector with 360 Celsius degree airflow setting. Comparing two FPC connectors, we can see that connector is easier to distort with high temperature. Therefore, proper temperature is very important for small components. Let's compare the desoldering effect of shield cover with vertical and helical hot air gun. Let's blow soldering shield cover with the vertical hot air gun. And then blow with the helical hot air gun. With the same temperature and the airflow, the surface of shield cover and the helical hot air gun remains perfect with gently heating. While shield cover become yellow with vertical hot air gun. So we can say helical hot air gun is more suitable for large shoulder cover. Do you know how to choose and use the hot air gun now? If you have other questions and suggestions, please feel free to leave comments with us. And please subscribe our channel for more helpful updates.